Well, that one counterexample in this case that the generalization may not be entirely correct, and maybe a false dilemma, is once again, let me quote the, this article from Psychology Today. Um, where is it? I'm just trying to find the guy's name as a prominent, apparently some names may be changed here, but um, uh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Um, something Pearson. Uh, Carlton Pearson. And the article is called An Atheist in the Pulpit, and you can find it in the February 2000 issue of Psychology Today on page 78. So, one counterexample, meaning that there is a possibility to be logical and to still view um, the possible existence of God. Now, I'm not saying that this automatically proves God. As like I guess said once again, I'm an agnostic. My point being is that, going back to my other videos, the existence of God or not is an unimportant issue. We have bigger fish to fry, like trying to counter intelligent design and symptoms of zealousness of religion or symptoms of zealousness in atheism too. Zealousness and lack of critical thinking are the bigger issues here, not the beliefs themselves. I can't stress this enough, people. Okay, I hope I've covered everything. I'll um, cover more in the next videos.